In this tutorial, we will learn how to quantify Western blot bands using ImageJ software. To quantify the intensities of Western blot bands, log on to the website as shown in the screen below. Click on Download and select the software that suits your operating system. After the download has been completed, extract the file and find the ImageJ icon inside the folder. For your convenience, the ImageJ icon can be exported to the desktop. For this tutorial, let us import a Western blot image by drag and drop method onto ImageJ. In this example, the blot image on the upper side in red shows the fibrillin 1 bands consisting of sample 1 and sample 2. On the lower side of the blot in green, the bands are of a housekeeping gene gap DH. To perform a densitometric analysis of the bands of our interest, first, the image has to be converted into an 8-bit or a 16-bit image. The bands in the blot can be made more visible by changing the intensities. Manually, change the brightness and the contrast according to your choice. Once selected, this window can be closed. The next step is to subtract the background or noise present in the blot. In order to subtract the background, click on the rectangle tool and select the region of interest considered as the background to be removed. Then, click on Analyze and set measurements. Except the mean gray value, all the other options can be deselected and then click OK. Again, click on Analyze and then Measure. The dialog box shows the mean gray value of the background or the noise to be 36 0.089. Now, deselect the yellow rectangle box from the blot and click on Process, Math and subtract the mean gray value. The value to be subtracted should reflect the mean gray value of the background or the noise and then click OK. Now, the background or the noise is successfully removed from the image. Next, invert the image so that the bands in the blot appear black in color in a white background. Select the rectangle tool again and then draw a rectangle that completely box the bands in the blot. Click on Analyze, Gel and select first lane. Now the rectangle box is marked as 1. Again, click on Analyze, Gel and plot lanes. The next step is to choose the line tool from above and draw a straight line connecting the bottom ends of the plotted lanes. This step displays the area occupied by the bands in the blot. Once completed, select the wand tool from above and click within the enclosed plotted lanes. Again, click on Analyze, Gels, and then label peaks. This step displays the percentage area of the occupied intensity. Simply copy the entire result and then paste it in an Excel file. At this stage, all the windows except the gel image and the ImageJ software itself can be closed. Next, we will repeat the procedure for the housekeeping gene GAPDH in a similar way to calculate its percentage area intensity. Once the results are obtained, copy the entire data and paste it in the Excel file. To quantify the intensity, let's calculate the normalization values. This is achieved using the formula equals and then click on the percentage area intensity obtained for the first band from the blot over its corresponding GAPDH percentage and then hit enter. The other band intensity can be calculated similarly. Now, these values can be used to plot in a graph. 
Thus, we successfully determined the densitometric analysis of the bands in the Western blot. Thanks for watching the video. Do stay tuned for more such videos by subscribing to this channel.